good evening everyone and welcome to our channel crypto network so today we will cover the working of policy based routing and its configuration uh, normally when a router receives a packet it decides where to forward it based on the destination IP address in the packet which is then uh, used to look up an entry in a routing table so here uh, the topology that we will use today the IP addressing are as per the router number we have router number one two three four so the IP addressing like uh, router one that is connected to router two is 12.1 and on router two is 12.2 on router three 13.3 and router one 13.1 and same on all routers EIGRP is configured on our, all routers and since we are using fast Ethernet interfaces everywhere traffic from R1 uh, destined to server that is 40.0.0.1 would normally be load balanced between router 2 and router 3 let me show IP route so the traffic moves via 13.3 and 12.2 and if we check if we run trace route 40.0.0.1 so the traffic is load balanced all right so uh, let us change the delay on interface fast ethernet 0 oblique 0 of router 1 so that all traffic will go from r1 to r3 and r4 and then to 40.0.0.1 our server all right so policy based routing is a very popular feature in cisco routers uh, it allows the creation of policies that can selectively alter the path that packets take within the network and uh, this feature is used to mark packets so that certain types of traffic are prioritized over the rest all right so using a standard ACLs with PBR uh, you can route IP packets based on their source IP address and with extended ACLs as we learned you can route IP packets based on all the clauses in the extended ACL all right so policy based routing is also known as source based routing and yeah that's it okay so uh, the implementation of PBR is quite simple and it is set up to be configured using a match set process all right so uh, we are configuring extended ACL 100 the IP host we are permitting so here in our uh, network uh, users are 10.1 user 5, 10.2, user 6, 10.3, user 7 respectively All right so we are creating root map root map by the name testing All right match IP address so the match statement matches an IP information in ACL 100 All right okay the set statement changes the next hop IP address for packets that match to uh, next hop in our case 12.0.0.2 all right okay so once uh, the interesting traffic is matched with the use of acls the router will perform uh, the configured set function which is defined by the administrator all right so uh, after you configure the ACLs and root map entries uh, you can enable PBR globally or on individual interfaces or on both so in this case uh, we are configuring on interface basis all right so IP policy root map the name of the root map testing okay so let me just uh, debug IP policy uh, to 
see the results the changes all right so let me uh, out of five the user five ping 40.0.0.1 great high priority traffic so we want user 6 to choose 12.0.0.2 path in order to reach server 40.1 so when we try to ping user 5 uh, forwarding is normal via 13.3 13.3 and now let us check on user 6 ping 40.0.0.1 okay so the source IP is 10.0.0.2 user 6 destination is server and FIB policy masked okay so what this mean FIB policy routed okay so let me trace route 40.0.0.1 the traffic is going via 12.0.0.2 let me check on user 7 40.0.0.1 via 13.3 the normal forwarding normal forwarding okay FIB policy rejected okay all right so uh, the IP policy route map uh, that we run on interface fast Ethernet one oblique one looks at interesting traffic entering on that interface and policy routes accordingly on which the command is configured all right so uh, we uh, we trace route 40.0.0.1 source loop back so we 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 have configured 1.1.1.1 uh, loop back one on router itself and 2.2.2.2 uh, .2 on router one itself all right so both uh, the loop backs are are facing towards 40.0.0.1 via 13.0.0.3 all right so one uh, the uh, one traffic is going through router one and one traffic is originated by router one so these are two concepts and we can uh, implement policy based routing on both all right so 13.0.0. Okay. All right. So let me uh, just create one uh, another ex six uh, extended access list 101. Permit. Uh, let me permit 1.1.1.1 uh, to opt 12.2 uh, root. Uh, post 40.0.0.1 exit and now root map so this time let me create PBR a name right and match IP address uh, that would be again the same r12. Dot. okay sorry uh, the IP address would be the name of the extended list 101 sorry so set IP next hop would be 12.0.0.2 okay exit and uh, let me configure on global mode so IP local policy route map so this command is used to policy route traffic generated locally on the router all right so uh, in our example we logged 
into our router itself executing a ping uh, the local policy would apply all right the same would apply for gre ipsec telnet traffic etc coming from the router itself so let me ping 40.0.0.1 source 2.2.2.2 policy rejected and normal forwarding all right let me trace route okay so the path is via 13.0.0.3 okay so let me ping source loop back 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. all right so source is 1 destination is 40.1 policy masked all right and see the fast ethernet 0 oblique 0 12.0.0.2 the wire path okay so we have done ip policy we have done ip local policy so let me uh, run some verification commands show ip policy here you can check uh, the implementation on interface basis as well as on local uh, locally local device on router itself so show root map so this will show the name of the root map uh, the next hop ip address that we set five packets access list the name of the access list the number of the access list all right so we have done here uh, in our configuration so the implementation as i said pbr uh, is quite simple as well all right so thank you uh, for watching this video hope you all enjoyed and i would like to thanks cisco community google and my trainers if you like please like comment share and subscribe our channel crypto network have a good day bye bye take care